Hey guys, this is Jeremy from the Hockey Movement, and this is Dan the Man Barnett. Hey guys. And we are bringing you a series on how to play better defense. Now, if you're a centerman or a winger, don't turn on this video, because when the other team has the puck, your whole team is playing defense. I'm going to show you how to use the markings on the ice to better position yourself to play better defense. Let's go. The first marking that you can use to better position yourselves on the ice is the face-off dots. Now getting really close to this one, it might be hard to tell how we can use it, but if we take a look at the rink from an overhead perspective, you can see how this is going to help you. When looking at the rink from an overhead perspective, you can see all the face-off dots are lined. Now if we take a line and we connect each face-off dot, and then we connect it to the goal post, you can see we've created a rink within a rink. When you're playing defense, this is typically where you want to be. You want to be in the rink, within the rink, and you want to send the guy with the puck outside. So when we're playing, we can try to stay inside the dots and always try to send the guy with the puck outside. So here I'm going one-on-one -on -one with Dan, except I'm outside the dots. That means I'm giving him lots of space to take me right here. He does one quick move and I'm done, I'm burnt. So here it's one-on-one -on -one again, except I'm staying inside the dots, giving Dan the outside of the ice. I want him outside because he's close to the boards and I can play him into the corner. The next marking that you can use to better position yourself is the net on the other side of the ice. These nets are exactly across from each other and they're lined up. So when you look at the post on the other side of the net, you're going to know where the post on this net is. Now as a defenseman, you don't want to stray too far off that post if you're playing a guy towards your goalie. If you're too far to this side, he has a nice open space to shoot. And if you're too far to this side, he can have room to cut to the center. So by taking a look across the ice, you know where that far post is and you can back up right to your inside post and have a good position. The next marking you can use to help yourself when you're on defense is the blue line. Once you cross the blue line, you want to be a bit more aggressive on that player. You don't want to back up too much because if you give him too much space, he can just cut across and get an easy shot on that or stop up and make an easy pass to the next guy coming in. So once you see that blue line, make sure you're a little bit more aggressive on that player. Once you get to the blue line, a good gap to have is two stick lengths away. So his stick, that's one length. Mine, that's two. Right about here is a good spot and you want to start closing that as you cross the blue line so you can get that poke check or you can be more aggressive on the player, take the puck away. The next marking that you can use is the top of the circle. Usually you don't want to back up too much towards your own goalie when you're playing one-on-one -on -one or two-on-one -on -one because it gives a lot of space in front of you to make plays. If you back up way too much, you can see they have all this space to either make a pass or cut in front and get a shot on net. So once you can see the top of those circles, try to be a bit more aggressive on that player. The last marking that you guys can use are the hash marks. So from here back and from there to there, that's the danger zone. That's where you don't want to let players get into. So always try to force guys outside of that area. That's where most goals are scored. The hash marks are also really useful if you're playing a two-on-one. Some defensemen like to lay down when they're playing a two-on-one, but you have to do it at the right moment. So if you do it too early, say up here, there's going to be a lot of space for the guy with the puck just to hold it, hold it, and then he can make that perfect pass, and you're completely out of the play. But if you wait until you get to the hash marks, you know how much space you have left. And that's when you can lay down and take away that pass. Oh, nailed it. All right, guys, those tips should help you play a little bit better defense. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Don't forget, subscribe to the Hockey Movement. We do new hockey videos every single week to help you become a better hockey player. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one.